So hey, um, during this tutorial I'll be showing you how to rig a biped to the skin of a body that you might wanting, be wanting to use. So first of all, you're going to want to select your biped and go under the motion tab. From there you will select on the figure mode. And this will allow you to move the biped in any way that you need, i.e. making the arms longer or shorter. So. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line up the bones to the correct proportions on the body. If the bones in the legs, especially, do not line up, they, quite frankly, the legs will look like they're breaking when it walks, so you don't want that to happen. So the knees need to line up with the knees, and so forth. As you can see, you need to move around to correctly see how this works. So this can be kind of like a tedious process, that, but it needs to be done to make your body look like it's actually moving in a fluid motion. All right, so once you're done lining up the legs and everything, you're going to want to make sure that the head and all the sh parts of the shoulder line up as well. It's, it's really important that the legs line up, but the rest of the body, it's not as important, but still needs to line up correctly to the right proportions. So if need be, you can add an extra neck segment to make the collarbones fall to the right spot on the body. Because if you just make a generic biped without any editing to the um, proportions on it, um, it'll have one neck segment. For the typical body made in mud box, you need two neck segments to make the shoulders and the shoulder blades line up to the right spot.